A while ago, I got a 12-inch MacBook as a second laptop to the addition to my enormous 16-inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. And I trashed this tiny machine pretty hard, primarily because of the atrocious keyboard, which only brings frustration. Additionally, the performance was lacking. The maximum you can expect is typing up some Word documents and playing 1080p YouTube videos. Yes, 1080p, since it can't even handle 24fps and 1440p, let alone 4K 60fps. Despite this, the MacBook is compact, incredibly pleasant to carry around and simply enjoyable to own. I was looking for a reason not to get rid of it, because I like it so much. Conveniently, I found a discussion where people, again, were shoving shiny metal objects inside of their laptops in hopes of squeezing some extra performance. And since I enjoy wasting my time on trying to fix unfixable, well, disassembling the laptop was quite stressful. There are tiny cables and connectors that are incredibly easy to damage with one careless move. Instead of using a copper plate, I used a ceramic pad left over from a previous attempt to fix NVIDIA's RTX 3070 Ti's overheating memory modules. The ceramic pad reduced CPU temperature by 20 degrees. Cinebench R23 score got 7% increase. Despite having much more thermal headroom and with requested 2.4 GHz reported by Intel Power Gadget, it still wouldn't boost above 2 GHz. Before inserting the pad, the temperature would hit 90 degrees all the time with the same 2 GHz. Now it stays below 69 degrees, which is nice. What is not nice is the noticeable bend to the motherboard. The pad was too thick. I have enough anxiety in my life already and just don't want to feel anxious about if I put too much pressure in the wrong spot and just screw the tiny motherboard up. So I removed the contraption and cleaned all traces of my wrongdoing here. As in the case with 370 Ti, Absiron U6 Pro Thermal Putty came to save the day. The same with ceramic pads, it lowered temps below 69 degrees. But now I am not risking damaging anything, and the application process is pretty straightforward. Squeeze it a little, make it more dense, pile it up generously, and you are good to go. Unfortunately, this experiment didn't give me desired 4K YouTube playback, which was my main goal. But I still consider this venture a success. After all, a reduction of 20 degrees is still a reduction and it might be beneficial in the long run for a longevity of the chip. So if you somehow can deal or get used to the pathetic excuse to the keyboard and text processors with 1080p YouTube videos are all what you need. The 12-inch MacBook is one of its kind. It is a cute and enjoyable thing to carry around. Now I'm tempted to repeat this procedure with 2017 12-inch model with Core i7 processor. Got one for sale? Thank you for watching.